a little cat alive but injured after it was shot in a Broward County neighborhood. Now the search is on for who did it and why. CBS 4's Ty Russell spoke with the cat's owner tonight. He's live at Pembroke Pines Police Headquarters. Ty. And Ruta Bay, the cat's owner, told me that police have been going door to door to try to get some answers. And there's still a concern tonight from that owner because she believes whoever is responsible could strike again either her pet or somebody else's. The owner of this one year old cat is worried. Maybe the same person is going to come along and shoot the cat again. Who knows? This Pembroke Pines neighbor is too shaken up to show her face. She adopted Roy the cat about a year ago after it spent its really young life roaming the streets after it was born. Like many, she never thought someone would be so cruel and hurt her pet. I saw him breathing heavy and I like to watch a lot of Animal Channel so I knew right away he was in pain. The cat lives in the backyard of his owner's home in the Kensington Park neighborhood and sometimes takes a stroll a few houses down. She says somebody shot her cat with the BB gun Sunday. Roy was then taken to the vet with a collapsed lung and a broken rib. There was also an entry wound on the cat's left side. And through all of that, he survived. He's doing really well and he got very lucky and missed a lot of critical organs. As Roy continues to heal at the vet hospital, police are investigating this as an animal cruelty case. At this time, it's unknown who could have committed this horrible crime. Uh, it is unknown why this crime was committed. Now, Roy's owner is not only leaning on the person responsible to come forward. When there's a crime and you do something that you're not supposed to, you always talk to somebody that somebody needs to come forward and say, hey, you made a mistake. Let's get it corrected. The owner also told me her little cat, Roy, may be released Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, in the state of Florida, if somebody is arrested and convicted of aggravated animal cruelty, they could face up to five years in prison. We are live at Pembroke Pines Police Department. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.